Hey everyone, Cody here, and this is actually a re-upload of an older video I did, but I didn't really explain what was going on, so I figured I'd do it again so I could kind of explain it. Now with this painting, um, this is a small, pain, small painting I did on watercolor paper. I did this entire painting with a foam brush, and the colors that I used were white, uh, orange, I think the orange is called like citrus notes or something like that, it's kind of a, a darker orange. And then uh, I believe the other color was like a dark blue. Uh, we'll find out in a second, but I believe it was dark blue. Anyway, I, again, I did this whole painting with, uh, with those three colors. And I only used a foam brush that you can get like at any craft store. Now, to be honest, I didn't really like this painting. And I really don't like using the foam brush for painting. It could just be that the paint that I used, the gloss enamel, because it's like house paint and it's really, it's like a thicker, it's thick as far as like uh, its density, but it's also very thin as far as the texture. So because it's so liquidy, like I think it just kept absorbing into the foam brush. I had to keep pulling more paint into the brush to get, you know, a solid color. So Honestly, like this is a simple kind of technique that you could do with, you know, maybe kids or something like that. And it's probably a lot easier with like oil or probably acrylic because acrylic is probably easier for kids to use. Um, so it's an easy thing, I think, for them. Like this is an easy way that you could make, you know, an abstract painting with, with kids or something like that. Is just use some colors and use some foam brushes and, you know, just do these little pockets of color. But again, I, I wasn't a big fan. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't really, I don't hate this painting or anything, but it, I, I don't really like it either. And you'll notice that I left some gaps on the background, uh, like where the white was. And that was just because when I wanted to add the white, I didn't want to have to seep, like I didn't want the colors underneath to seep through. Generally, when you paint, uh, you want to try to do lightest to darkest. I mean, that's not always the case, depending on what materials you're using and the look you're going for. But a lot of times you want to do lightest to darkest because if not, you have to do what I'm doing here. And you have to kind of stack the paint on top of itself to get that crystal clear color. So if I hadn't done that, you would have just seen the other colors underneath. Now, again, if you're trying to go for a certain look, you know, that, that can be fine. But it, it just makes it more difficult um, by putting like lighter colors on top, even though... I still do it all the time. Uh, there's really not a whole much, a whole lot more to this painting. I really just kind of layered it over and over and over again with the three colors, um, blue, orange, and white. Again, it's, it's an easy type of painting that you can do. And I would recommend it like if you were trying to do something with like kids or if you're just kind of messing around um, and had the colors, you could do this kind of painting. Um, but as far as like actually painting, like if you were going to paint for yourself or, you know, paint to make a painting, the foam brush is just kind of difficult to use. I'm not saying it's impossible. You could definitely make some cool designs with it and stuff like that. But, um, uh, I don't know that I, I wasn't a fan after doing it. Um, another issue is that, uh, because it, because it absorbs the paint, when you move on to the next color, if you haven't cleaned it out completely, like it takes in the color that it was previously there and it mixes it with the color you're adding next. So, I mean, in a way it's kind of cool because it starts to mix the colors a little bit. So you kind of get different hues of the same colors. So like how the blue and the white mix to make like a lighter blue, that's okay. Um, if you're, if you're going for that look, then it's kind of cool. So you do have that advantage. However, if you're not really trying to do that, then just know that it's it's going to do that. It's going to kind of mix those colors. So just as a heads up. Ultimately, I, again, didn't hate this painting, but I probably won't do more of these because I don't like the way that it was working out. But, you know, it, it is what it is. And we kind of learned and, you know, moved on. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys in another one. Take care, guys.